go but in in this tutorial we're going to use some fix a uh, fitting text to path uh, method so our objective here is to recreate this log i've done this in 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 corel draw so we're good whether what we're going to do here is we're going to uh redraw this one step by step Okay, so first, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this one because that's our main uh, image for the logo here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I created this circle. So those are two circles, right? One, this one, and then the outer one. So, okay, go to your uh, circle tool and then click on, I mean, hold the control button to, to make it a perfect circle. So I'm okay with this one. I'll just set it and then we'll just put, we'll fix that later. Okay. So now the first thing that we have to do is we have to type in Corel Draw Tips text. So Corel Draw uh, Tips. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to make it close to the size of this one. Okay. Okay. So now I'll choose the font. Okay. But as you can see, not all the fonts are the same, right? Some have different uh, font style. So that's really easy to change in Corel. So you just highlight the font, I mean the text that you want to change the font. And I'll say narrow and I'll make it bold, okay, for that one. And then this one too, okay. So highlight it and then I go, I go to narrow and then bold, okay. Okay, so now we'll just color that later. Actually, we can we can color that now. So in here, uh, in order to color, we want, we want to color just the draw one, right? So we go to uh, my text tool and then highlight it. And I'll just choose the color that I uh, that I chose. Okay, we might not be able to get that exact color but what I'll do I'll just go edit uh, copy properties from and I'll just copy the fill and then click OK and go this way okay okay like and then this one I'll just make it black okay okay so black okay and this one also to be black okay so there we go now let's go this way here so now the 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 trick that we're going to do is fitting this text to this path here the circle so you go text fit text to path and then which path we're going to this path here okay there and then once there's a red uh, you know red in the center that means to say it's uh it's in the center of the circle so just, just let's compare the two okay now if you can see there is an offset distance between the circle and see this one and the text so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this one and in here it says the horizontal offset okay in the property bar here so what you do is you just uh okay you you increase it okay actually you need we need the vertical we need the distance between path sorry it should be distance from path so i'll make that higher 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 okay now if it's not in the center anymore if you can see that red uh, there's a red box there or yeah square you just move it and it goes back to the center okay now that's fine and then okay now we'll do the second one okay i'll type in making graphics fun fun okay and then i'll make it bigger i'm not sure what font did i use here but anyway uh okay so i think it's aerial narrow bold okay uh not really quite well it's just area okay so we're gonna put this into this path again so you go text fit text to path 
okay and I'll just move it that way okay now the problem is it's a different orientation so what you do is you go to your mirror horizontal and then you go vertical okay so mirror horizontal and then vertical uh, check the property bar and you can see that one and then now the distance I could just move it away from the circle and just go to the center and that's it okay now I have the the text there now now in order to to separate the the path which is this one you go to arrange and break compound objects of three elements apart okay so it means to say that okay the path is separate now from the text see I move that one okay so now uh, okay so I'll do this one I'll put my name in there so I'll just type in all its covers okay I'll just make it bold okay and then I'll make a box rectangular box oh, I'll remove this okay and then I go here to my shape tool okay and I'm not sure what gray I used there I put that to back and then I'll remove the outline and then I'll make this white okay I have to put by Alex Galvez okay so I'll type in by here okay okay and then I'll just move it somewhere here okay I'll move it to the front so arrange uh, order to front okay here it is okay now I've got that one okay now I'm gonna make another circle okay uh, the outer circle so I just roughly made a circle by holding control right and then okay now I'll in order to make this center to the center circle I click on the outer circle right and then I hit shift I mean hold shift and choose the center circle okay and then type in C E C is horizontal um, is uh, yeah centering uh, horizontal and E is for vertical so C E okay now it's not quite there so I'll make it bigger there it smaller a bit there you go now okay so I'll make it bigger a bit okay so I think that's good now the only thing I have to do now is to click on this one the outer circle and then hold shift and click on the center circle and I'm gonna combine that one because in combining that I can make a fill right so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the properties of the one I just did. Copy properties from, fill, outline, outline pen, and click OK, and choose this one. Okay. Now if you notice, it's a different shade. That's because I put a transparency. So click on interactive transparency, and click on uniform. There. Now the only thing I have to do here is to make this. Uh, put a white outline so I go to my outline tool go to the first one okay I make the outline uh, eight points and then make it white behind fill and then click OK and there you go and then we can just make a circle here just copy the properties of the one I just did click on that one here and then I'll duplicate by hitting the plus sign and moving this over here and uh, there you go so just delete this one and that ends my tutorial